There is one other nice thing that I want to show you guys here is another question I often get is how do I find the middle of two points? If I had a line, if I'd drawn a line and I'd started it at the vertex there and the vertex there, then I could go and draw another line from the middle. I could go M for midpoint and I could draw a line there. Again, let me just press S. So now I defined a line in between those two points, right? But what if I didn't have that line there? How do I start a point with the middle of this point and the middle of that point? Well, let's use this case. For that, what I do is I use a thing called an arc, a two-point arc, and I construct a construction point from that vertex there to that vertex there. Then when I'm drawing a line, I can simply move on to here and snap to the center of this. And then it'll find out, then I can snap to any one of these things. So let's just do that one more time. So I'll go to the arc tools. I'll go to this thing called construction circle two points. And then I'll snap to these end two points. Then I'll go back to my line tool. And I'll select the line tool. And then I can move. And the moment I touch the circle, it finds the center. And then I can go and draw from the center of that circle to the center of that circle. And that's the way I find the middle of two points. And now the thing about constructions, why they're really nice to use for just setting up something as a displacement away from another object, is that you can get rid of them very easily. You just go edit and you say clear, and you can choose an individual construction, or you can just say all constructions, and then they've gone away.